two short years I've been in Miami, I've witnessed a region taking its place as a 21st century global city. That's not always been the case. 30 years ago, when Miami-Dade's Beacon Council was founded, the cover of Time Magazine headline, Paradise Lost. We've come a long way since then. We can and we won't take all of the credit, but we have made significant contributions to the development of this community in both great times and in trying times. So how did we get to where we are today? Leadership. In 1985, when the Beacon Council was formed, Ronald Reagan was our president, and detectives were wearing pastel suits without socks, or at least they did on television. And Michael Jackson was showing us how to moonwalk. Miami was adjusting to waves of Cuban refugees and immigrants from the Caribbean. The headlines were about crime, and Miami had a real perception problem. There were plenty of organizations trying to help attract business, but there were too many, too fragmented, and without enough resources. Sunbank Chair and CEO Ted Hepner, along with our county manager at that time, Merritt Steerheim, and myself, with the help of a massive volunteer research group that numbered in the hundreds, created a public-private partnership that would help transform Miami into the great community that we knew it could be. We called it the Beacon Council. Uh, but it was a battle. It wasn't something easily achieved. The Chamber embraced the concept of a public-private partnership. And I'm in uh, no delusions of grandeur, but I led that charge with them. Fortunately, the Beacon Council got its funding early on, or we wouldn't be where we are today. It's that simple. Once the Beacon Council was created, we didn't waste any time. We launched a campaign the following year that said, Miami, we have what the world wants. And that could not be any more true today. The big stuff is just now coming into Dade County and it will uh, come all the way across the county. In 1992, uh, on my watch, uh, Hurricane Andrew occurred and our area was devastated. Parts of it were unrecognizable. We, need help. Help. we had to do something as the official economic development organization for the county. The Beacon Council created a comprehensive emergency management program. Our response team launched a bridge loan program providing businesses the necessary funds through short-term loans to get back on their feet. Today, that program, along with others we created, has been adopted by Florida and many other states. Hurricane Andrew in 1992 was the worst national disaster to ever occur in the United States up until that time. Andrew was a true test of our community. The Beacon Council proved together we could do amazing things. In 1996, the average salary in Miami was $21,000. Many of our jobs were tied to tourism and hospitality. The economy was doing fine, but trouble was on the horizon. A study by the Greater Miami Chamber of Commerce revealed that in less than 10 years, Miami would have a huge shortfall of jobs. Based on growth rates, it was projected another 120,000 jobs had to be created by 2005. Jay Molina, a visionary community leader and businessman, started an initiative to address it. His vision, One Community, One Goal, resulted in diversifying jobs and the economy. The Beacon Council helped provide the research to determine which industries were best suited for our community. We then helped execute the strategic plan. It was a tremendous success. With our targeted industries in hand, we pursued a number of new companies. One of the great success stories of the Beacon Council is the number of companies we've helped bring to Miami-Dade County and the jobs they've created. Since 1985, we have assisted 941 companies that have created more than 63,000 jobs. They've invested more than $4 billion. That's billion with a B. We did it by creating programs like the Targeted Jobs Incentive Fund, or TGIF 
companies were rewarded for making investments over $3 million. This is important because establishments like Writer System, a company founded in Miami, a Fortune 500 company, was considering moving their headquarters, taking hundreds of jobs with them. They would be the first to use the program to build their new expanding world headquarters right here where it all began. In the following years, we saw an influx in companies of all sizes, Wells Fargo, Federal Express, Telefonica, Harley-Davidson, HBO Latin America, Discovery, Alienware, America TV, Badia Spices, established or expanded here. And the Beacon Council's public-private collaboration helped make it possible. As the companies grew, Miami grew up as well. Literally, downtown Miami, a place that shut down at five, came to life as new buildings and businesses began to rise. And just as fast as it went up, suddenly it came apart. The Great Recession would touch just about every company across our community. The Beacon Council was once again being challenged to bring more jobs. Our approach was multifaceted. We would bring back ideas from the past that worked while innovating new ideas for a changing world. We collaborated with Greater Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau, American Airlines, and Miami-Dade County to launch Miami, where worlds meet. The $2 million global marketing campaign promoted Miami-Dade County as a dynamic, world-class destination for business, meetings, vacation, and new business locations. One Community, One Goal returned for a second run. A decade earlier, the plan had helped roll back a predicted shortage of jobs. This time, it would help diversify the job market so that it would be better prepared to withstand economic challenges. The One Community, One Goal initiative has become a national model for community collaboration and partnerships, with over 6,700 volunteer hours dedicated, 373 companies engaged, 124 C-level executives participating, and 40 nonprofits participating as well. It's already yielded results. We launched the Talent Development Network, a concept that could change the future for not just companies here, but for our children. The online portal connects students to paid internships and companies have a great place to go to attract talent. Many of those internships could become permanent careers. Through One Community, One Goal, we have also aligned education with the needs of targeted industries. Universities, colleges, and our public school system are all collaborating to better prepare our workforce for the jobs of the future. For example, a student interested in tech can enroll in programs starting in high school that prepare them for the job market. It's a head start for the students and the companies. Today we're moving faster than ever before. We're competing against cities across the country and around the world. To be competitive, we help push game-changing ideas. A great example is Univision. At the outset of the year I was chair in 2012, we announced the launch of the Fusion Network, which added 346 jobs and invested nearly $275 million in new capital into our community. This project was a game changer as it put Miami on the map for TV production in the United States and in Latin America. And it draws other companies from the industry to our community. The impact of the jobs and investment will be felt for years to come. Over 30 years, we learned a lot, and we're passing on the lessons learned to the next generation. The Beacon Council created the New Leaders Task Force to ensure that what we build here continues to flourish. The group is made of young professionals, professionals who want to make an impact on this place we call home. And it's exciting because these new leaders bring new ideas and a fresh perspective. And they teach me how to take pictures and work things like this. <laughs> Now that's leadership. It's about people with vision and passion who believed in the power of this great place we call Miami. We have learned many things along the way, but one thing is tried and proven. Working together in a public-private partnership, 
brings together the best to grow jobs and investment and to help all of the residents in Miami-Dade. Over the last 30 years, together we have accomplished great things. And the next 30 years look even brighter than the first. Leadership comes in many forms, and we need your leadership. Join us at the Beacon Council so together we can shape our own future. The Beacon Council. Uh, the Beacon Council. 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 Growing business in Miami. 30 years of 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 growing business in Miami. All right, 30 years. 30. 30 years, yay! Thirty years, but we're going to look forward to forty and fifty coming up soon. <laughs>